All right. Hey guys, another beautiful morning here in Kuala Lumpur. Want to jump on real quick and talk about like troublemakers because I think I'm onto something here now, right now. So who are troublemakers? Troublemakers are the guys who challenge the status quo, right? Challenge the status quo set by society, challenge the status quo set by the system, set by the man, right? It's, we have entrepreneurs, we have truth seekers, we have troublemakers, we have disruptors of industry, we have freedom seekers, all a part of the same group. Troublemakers, you know? Because society yeah, labels us as troublemakers because they're afraid of what we might do, right? We are sat here on earth to fulfill a purpose. So, don't shy away from that purpose, you know, just because your your mind is not set on the right purpose or right goal, right? Try to focus, try to focus on getting a little mental clarity, see what you're really meant to do in life. I had a chat with a like a fellow entrepreneur yesterday. He was asking me about how he should start like getting in money, how, how he should start like by becoming free, financially free location freedom, time freedom, financial freedom. And what I told him, I'm gonna tell you guys what I told him. Uh, he wanted to get into like e-commerce and all that. Of course, because e-commerce is pretty, it's my favorite thing to do for sure. But like if before getting into e-commerce, you gotta be, you gotta have some money saved up for sure. Because nowadays doing drop shipping, it works, but it costs a little bit of money. You gotta have, I would always recommend getting a mentor that cost about 1,000 bucks, 1,500 bucks, and then plus another 1,500 bucks to get started, to pay for the business, incorporation, uh, the, just the services, uh, like the Shopify and all the platforms you need, and then you need money to pay for the ads. And once you're in the beginning, you don't get paid out daily, you know? You get paid out maybe weekly, so you gotta have money to buy inventory, right? From the suppliers. So if you guys want to get into dropshipping, just comment down below dropshipping and I can help you set it up. But what I told him and what had helped, what had helped him, you know, <laughs> was that because he wanted to get into e-commerce, but he didn't have the money. So I was like, hey, bro, just figure out a service, just learn a profitable skill and offer it as a service, right? Because a service-based business, you don't need to spend any money on ads, rarely, but you can. But you can use email marketing, you can do lead generation, you can do, what's it called, copywriting, you can do video editing, you can do fitness and gym coaching, mindset coaching, a lot of coaching stuff out there right now, everybody's eating it up, so, like for example, me, I talked to Luke Belmar for a while, and he told me to just like, hey bro, just chill out on the e-commerce, just figure out how to make money instead of starting a new business, right? So, because when you're the owner of the business, when you're the owner of the business, you you get paid last. So, but if you have like a service-based business, you get paid first, and you will be able to pay yourself first, and then pay others, right? So, having a service-based business gives you a little bit of freedom. But down the line, service-based business is based around you. So, figure out a way how to automate this. But you need to start yourself first, right? You need to start start the business, right? You need to figure out the systems so you can hire other people to help out, right? You gotta be able to have the systems in place and then you outsource. You don't outsource when it's just beginning because then you just end up, yeah, paying people to figure out your business, right? And that doesn't make sense. Take it from me, I've done that before. So, troublemakers, entrepreneurs, freedom seekers, Truth Seekers, let's all join together. And I'm starting my community up. You can join my newsletter. I get a e free ebook in, the, in return. So I will put it down below and go chase that dream, guys. Cody, out.